So hello everyone and welcome back to another advent calendar episode, another episode of Rocky and let's see where this troll mate bridge will be taking us, shall we? Oh, at least to another place. Wow, what is that amazing smell? Those are some weird things hanging from the trees, I gotta say. Here, look. Tentrils? I I don't know. Flowers maybe? Smells so good. Uh is this the dangerous water? I think so. Must be the dangerous waters. Hmm, it is such a relaxing fragrance. Yeah. Well, at least this is the last wafer shrine, so that's something. But this is the extreme danger. Danger danger. Very dangerous place for us. Here, allow me. Woohoo! A way opened. Phew, they were tough. Ooh, what a terrible deep slumber. I hid from a mob of vicious ravens and must have dozed off. Things certainly seem smaller around here. I think it may have been more than a little nap. The Great Mother Tree sent me to find you. Oh. Yes, you're right. We have lost touch. Mm. Almost there. I can feel the root ways. There. Connected once more. Thank you for waking me, child. Our rootways are yours to use. Thank you. Tack. Tack so mycket. As it goes in Swedish. Connected. New patch unlocked. Ooh. Is it coming from those lilies? Whatever it is, it's making me feel super drowsy. It's not good. Not good at all. Yes, Iron Pond, what a surprising circumstances. I found somewhere nice and not scary in the forest, a lovely little pond with a smell like s summer flowers and warm uh, chocolate rolled into one. Yeah, not scary at all, I'm sure. Well, we definitely know where this stone goes. Dark past. Just a quick dip in the water. Yay, another satisfied stone. This must be the spring that Fosekri mentioned. It's not small, and it doesn't look tainted. I wonder what its tragic secret could be. It seems so peaceful here. What a beautiful spring water pond. Looks really deep. Probably the fact that a lot of people, kids have drowned in there. At least we found the last thing that we need for that one other thing. These lilies look so familiar. Maybe they're the sober lilies from that recipe book. Yep, that's what I was thinking, that we need one of those lilies, but that looks like a living tentacle, and so it was. Nick, nick, knock. Knocken. Ugh, what is that? Maybe knocken is knacky. Nonetheless, water creatures that would like to drown you. And more story progression over here. It is working. This boy is special somehow. Oof. Poor Lars. Rau. The right demands more of my power. We must continue. I'm sorry it has hurt you, my Röki. It hurts me too. But it is the only way to give you the life you deserve. It is my fault you are this way. 
my fault you are feared and shunned. The humans accept only their own. This way you will walk among them. You will never be pertinent as I was. No matter the cost to me or anyone else. What's happening? Something unexpected. Something wonderful. Do not fight it. Rar. You know this is for the best, Röki. And the raven brings news of us. Good. Tell me about the girl. Ka. To no can. A tragic creature to bring a tragic end. Now she joins its sunken treasures. Ka. The staff. How could she know about that? Ah. Trolls? And yet the girl survives. She seeks her prater. Tuve? Tuve's coming. She's coming to take me home. No one is coming, boy. Your destiny lies here with us. We shall not fail this time. Lovely. Now oh, then icicles surrounding. Eyes going all blue. Rawr. Ah, uh, the right has never gotten this far before. I was unprepared for the toll on my body. Yeah, bleeding. Ow, sniff. Quiet now, Rookie. Everything will be fine. I must rest a while. Sniff. Rookie? Rookie? You okay? What's wrong with your hand? Can I see? Oh. Or I can get it if you want. some spike we after all did hurt him when he was coming at us so to speak Grow. oh ice is feeling there my sister always pulls those out Rrr. This might be... Ow. <laughs> All better. <laughs> Smile. Reggie, I... I don't feel so good. What's going to happen to me? Oh, I thought so. But he can communicate with him a bit. So that's that's after all why he is so special. He, he was able to communicate already way before in the real world. Rma. No, I don't have a mama. 
I don't know what she was like. But I do have a big sister. She'll find me. She always does. Forget about your sister, child. There is no going back now. It may be a little solace, but you are clearly special. You have lasted far longer than the others. I will almost be sad to see you go. Your life is a great gift to us. Oh boy. But it is as it has to be. We must feed to darkness to continue the right. What power remains in me flow through me now. Oh boy. Oh, boy. Yep. There's a little, little tentacle monsters, a lot of them. But a lovely, lovely waters indeed. Didn't expect this at all. But of course, these sort of scary stories about uh, water monsters taking you away, etc. We're a good way to try to keep the children from going too close to dangerous waters. Because yeah, there was a drowning risk. I I'm alive, I can't believe it. But we're kind of a prisoner now. I'm tied up, but I think I'm still in one piece. I, I need to get free somehow. Grr. That's a good question though, how exactly? Okay, I can move at least. Yes, that's a start. Uh, yes. A start, yes. There's the head at least. Hey, that looks like the staff of the, on the mountain. Um, can't get to it right now though. There's a teddy bear at least. That's cool, I guess. A damn bedtrack old little teddy bear. A soaper lily. It has a soothing fragrance. So, uh, do you guys feel like this is your home? <laughs> I don't think so yet. Um, I can't get past while this tentacle's here. I'm not getting to the water with that creature. Oh yeah. What a surprise that you wouldn't wanna. But what can we then throw, etc., to maybe have a way to go in? Oh, I don't know. Can we take some of the water? I don't need to store that in a jar. Fine then. I do hope that I have everything that we need in here, because in the worst case scenario, if you don't have everything you need, you could get yourself stuck, right? Can we just throw the daddy bear as a... It will go for it. Ooh. Oh, oops. I dropped your toy in the water. Please let there be some way out of here. Okay, little doll. Let's get you all dressed up. You've got a party to go on. Definitely. How did you get down here? I hope you're just a statue. I don't know about that. No secret doorway here. Unless this is the last block that we need, I guess, of those. What's this block doing here? I found a little hair tie. That's going straight in the journal. Well, that's nice, I guess. Tiny belly is cute. Uh -huh. Nothing. What about this whale? A little red bowl. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. 
This looks like a lobster pot. Might be useful. So much stuff. This, I like this blue fabric. Please don't be what I think you are. Yeah, another actual person slashed. This has been brought here. Ah, the way out. Ah, leave me alone. Guess it doesn't want me to wander off. Well, Ooh. now I don't have to see your weird little toll toys. Toy, 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 toy. Perhaps you can be his new friend. I'm not getting into a water with that creature, I do understand that. What's this then? A mini ship sail made from a blue fabric. Almost the same color as my top. <gasps> okay. A lobster pot. An old chip red bowl. And then this stone block. I was thinking that maybe we could have still added that into there, but... I guess maybe that's enough. I still... I would need to also get somehow the... There's no way back there. I've got to keep going. But what about the full thing, though? I guess there's just no way to get the full thing. The full statue at the moment. But how would I get it then later? Like, wouldn't I have needed to try to go and get it? Yeah, I was thinking that this shouldn't be good enough, right? It's all me. Looks like it really wants me to stay. Why does it keep sitting me down here? Seems a strange thing for a monster to do. There must be something I can do to make you look more human. Yes, that's what I was thinking. That I would have needed to put that... Um, this blue thing on you too. Let's make you a new dress. I guess. Hopefully that's enough. So I don't know how else, like, this doesn't seem any make make any sense more. Perhaps you can be his new f friend? No. Still not accepting it. Alright. So what else can I do? It is very determined. Maybe it's lonely. Maybe it is lonely. But I have made this, it's just... You weren't convinced in standing. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so what else? I do have like this, of course, too, but I don't think... Long enough to wrap around something and probably quite flammable. But I don't think it would go with this. So, yeah. Well, what else could I do with it? Uh-huh. Hat. Looking good. Okay. One more thing. At least. I don't... At least I th nothing else doesn't make that much sense. Thank you for the tea party. Indeed. Like, now it has a red hat like we do. But maybe you can play with Dolomy now? I need to go save my brother. Just that I think that we would have needed the one other thing too, but oh well. Like the full statue, but maybe we somehow can get there still. I don't know. Yeah, I run away, but is that really good enough? That I run away? Because we still don't have the thing to actually get that statue. So, I think I can get out here. I was thinking that does it lead where I think it does. Yep. I knew there was something behind that stone. Mighty girl went through knock knock and door. It bangs its long arm on Hilde's cave sometimes. Hilde knows better than to go that way. What was that thing? It had tentacles. Hmm. Knocking. 
Not kind like troll barhatter, not beautiful like troll sisters. Not troll like at all. How do I stop it? Heal the wise enough to keep away. Not wise enough to know how to keep it away. Knock and pulls everything underwater. Troll cave without fire. Socky feet. Poor gold Hilde. How will Hilde have tea now? Poor Hilde. Ugh, all that's left on the fire is black ashy sluts. Better not touch it, it will turn my clothes black. <gasps> it will turn your clothes black, but maybe it can turn this black then too. This rack's lying around. Yeah, but like, that's black for the, the, the other thing. Maybe with this we can take some of it after all, actually. Great, a portable mess of black sludge. Cool, that's at least one answer. Your tea is getting cold. And whose fault is that? Poor Hill, there's no fire, no tea, just a lost human. Eep! Um, can I just, like... One more match left after this. But we need to get her fire going again. Ah. Oh. Warm. They are nice and warm now. Tea? Mm, doesn't smell better to Hilde. It will soon. Hilde hungry little human. Yes, I'll get you the tea. I'm not sure if you should be happy to get the tea considering the circumstances as in it will put you to sleep, but I guess it will at least be nicer nonetheless. So there's that. Sometimes I wonder what is the fastest way to travel from one place to another, but I guess I can go from here and then go back into this water wheel place and then from down there and just trying, running like the sound of speed or whatever. Nonetheless, running a lot from one place to another. We almost died. Troll Hulde, I think it was your name. We almost died, Troll Hulde. But not quite. There we go. Simple, hopefully effective. The book says to grind them for five minutes. Eh, I'm sure that'll do. It smells so soothing, just needs hot water now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's done. One thing done. From all the things that can be done. Hey, little one. It's a lovely garden. Mama will have loved it. Mama is troll friend like Tuve. She likes stories about trolls, so maybe. I don't have her talent. What's your secret? Bone soil. Don't tell Hilde. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, what kind of bones? Hilde brings me bone tea. Disgusting. But makes flowers grow. Okay, bounty. Sounds sounds like a logical thing. Bounty would be good, yes. Bounty makes everything better, right? Huh. I can still like interact with this. Is there some reason that I should interact with this stuff more? Not quite certain. Not quite certain. Great sleepy tea though. Recipe book said to add it to boiling water. I know, I'll go there soon, but while we have the black stuff, I might as well visit here too. I don't know if there's something else I would need as well, but like, why not, right? Makes sense. Well, we can come and try to do this thing. To help this cat. The Yule cat. What is this? Yes! It's um revitalizing pomade with active charcoal. Pomade? Aha. Yeah, rub it on your fur, it will make it black and healthy. This sounds pleasing to you, La Cutterin. I must see this pomade witchcraft for myself. You definitely be black now. Can I see it? 
Well, I guess we can take this now because you're not paying attention. He's so absurd, he won't miss this ham. Whoop. Well, bye. Before you know there's something missing. Oh, wait, are these... Yeah, I don't want to think about it. Well, at least now we have also ham for that. I think the cat didn't like what I did, though. Definitely sounded like it was moving. I'll get the heck out of there before he notices that I've taken his... His ham. I don't... I don't... Enjoy that. <sighs> so where next? <laughs> oh boy. A juice coming over me. Okay, then the troll hilegun. Then we should be able to control some water soon after all of the other stuff. And there's a lot of stuff we are getting done. Certainly enough at the very least. Certainly a lot of things that we are accomplishing here. You can have your tea in just a second. Uh, you will enjoy a nice nap after that too. I found a delicious tea recipe for you. Better than all the other troll sisters. <laughs> this will taste like slug tea compared to yours. Then Hilti will write a new song for it. Tea's ready. Too well, not drinking any. <laughs> no thanks, special troll tea only for trolls. More for Hilde. To Tuve. Kind human and her bones. Uh, thanks. Ha! It worked. Sorry, Hilde. Have a rest now and don't eat anyone. Hopefully. I really need this. Sorry. I need to borrow your flute. It's for a good cause, I promise. Promise you this, an ancient looking bone flute. But should I really play an instrument that's been in a troll's nose? A huge leg of ham. I have no idea about some of the stuff that, uh, how they will need to be used and all that. I was thinking that maybe I can <laughs> at least clean that. Oh yeah, I should also visit the... Um, I guess I can also try to visit the bear shrine. It is right here, I guess, so I should maybe visit that first. I don't know if there's anything else I need to do there, but... Like, I can get the thing from the mausoleum and then just go and try to place the blocks into place. And that's one thing that I can maybe do completely. And then go to a full shrine, even though I'm kind of tempted to just go to the full shrine. But on the other hand, I still don't have that damn statue for it, so... That's a part of the problem. This, I definitely should be able to now get, with the help of this. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yay. Yes. Hmm, I suppose buried treasure is always this muddy. Huh? I wonder who buried this pattern disc here. That is a good question, but at least we have it now. Whoever it was that buried it under there. No idea about it. Then run all the way over here to the hole on the ground and then look at this stuff here. I don't know anyways where those big shrines at least go, but we should be able to try to do something with this. I just not quite sure if this should be placed one, two, three, four or not. Yeah, that's a good question. I, I don't know. It would be seeming like a pretty logical way to do it, but mm, I don't know if it's the right way. This has way more anyway, so... Yep, doesn't seem to be like that, because it's not like that's a number four, it's just some sort of a number. And I don't know any clues anywhere in here that would give us a clue how we should be placing those. Absolutely zero clues about it. 
They, they could be anyway. There is a moon underneath, so if that would mean something specific for it, but again, I don't quite know what it should mean. So, hmm. This has like six, even. Definitely not just four. Maybe there's more of those somewhere. So, definitely not yet the answer. I was thinking that maybe just four will be enough, but clearly that ain't. Or four might be enough if I would have any sort of a clue how they need to be placed, but... Unless there's some clue in here. Yeah, but that's just a parish thing. Doesn't seem very helpful. And there's like the moon here. Star. But those don't seem like any sort of clues for that either. At least I don't understand how they would be. Like, some of those might be the clues, but... I wouldn't know, then, what those clues exactly would be. Well, let's travel to the full shrine. I think we should, at the very least, be able to... Now know how to... Or what sort of instrument we can get to learn how to control waters and all that, so that should be pretty good. I wonder what all other stuff I should be able to make, like I should be able to make the torch. Yeah, I know you'll do. Yeah, but where would I see something that would be less flammable that I could use for that? It's not like that would work, right? Yeah. I wonder where I could find something that would work as a good torch. Not the flute, of course. Those stone blades I need somewhere else. I guess I just don't have something that would work as a that sort of a thing yet. And I apparently did keep the jar, so that's good information. Hmm. Well, it's not like I could be putting this into a jar, right? Uh -huh. Nope. That's what I was thinking, I don't think that's a <laughs> reasonable idea, but had to still make certain. But okay, I guess this is a decent place to end for today, and then tomorrow we we'll continue and actually maybe learn how to control waters, so that will be interesting to see how that works, and uh, all that. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for more next time, as in tomorrow. So, see you then, bye bye!